Hello, and welcome to a game called Goodbye Doggy. I'm David in Ark. This is on uh, itch.io. And uh, your good life as a family pet has come to an abrupt end. Help your family deal with their grief by drifting from room to room and exploring the house. Okay. Whoa. Oh. We have some very sad people. Goodbye, doggy. All right, Z to start the game. All right. Oh, okay. <clears throat> An undying sense of loyalty has pulled your spirit from the castle of death. <laughs> oh, let's go. Cool. Examine. Doggy. Best furry friend forever. Oh, uh, how sweet. <coughs> so what do I do? I fly around and bark. Hey, bark, bark. Oh, 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 oh. No. This person's much too dehydrated for crying in order to continue baking. Okay. Oh, oh. All right, well, I get to fly around. Hey, what's up with you? This person threw their duster onto the bed. They've completely given up on chores for the day. Can I get the duster? Oh yeah, here, have a duster. Perhaps cleaning the attic for them will help. All right. Oh, look at there, I can go up here. Oh, I'm cleaning the attic. What a good little ghost dog that I am. The attic is totally clean and you found your old ball. All right, I'm gonna take the ball. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Yay, I have a ball. Hey, you want a ball? They clutch an empty stomach, too vulnerable to face their family downstairs, and too hungry to move. Oh, oops, well, the ball disappeared. Go back up here? Yeah, okay. So who else is here? Oh, what is this? Is that a bottle of water? All right, so do you want the water? Hey, the sad baker notices the water bottle hydrates properly. Their newfound energy allows them to finish baking a beautiful loaf of whole grain bread. All right, so you want some bread? Because you said you were hungry, right? You hungry? The plain bread proves to be undesirably soft for them. If only you could toast it. Really? You can just have some bread? Fine. Here, look out. <laughs> the warm fireplace is, singes your milk toast snack into something. There. You want to eat the bread now? Yay! Femish hems grab the toast. It's savory scent wafting through the bedroom air for a moment. Alright, now you want to clean? Staring at the wardrobe, a worried look caresses their face. They may need help choosing something. Oh, so we just don't want to clean. Instead, you want something out of here? Oh, look, we can pick an outfit. Sure, how about that one? They accept your skillfully coordinated outfit as sheer luck. Not only do they look cute, but they feel cute. Yay! They look relatively peppy in their new outfit. Awesome! All right, so what else we got? Well, what's the matter with you? You're still sad. They're meekly chewing the warm piece of bread, actively trying to ignore the dirty dishes in the sink. Okay, dirty dishes. <laughs> All right, I'll clean the dishes with my tongue, my ghost tongue. Though taste needs nothing to your ghostly pallid tongue, licking the dishes reminds you of the delicious food you ate in life. Wait, where did she go? Is she over here now? Hey, here you are. Man, you look mad. Free from chores, they pick up a crossword to relax. However, its difficulty only gives them more anxiety. I can do the crossword. Uh, all right. Access the dog lexicon. Bark, bark. <laughs> the crossword answer strikes them and like an epiphany. Each letter a stark reminder of the death's finality and life's fleeting moments. Great. Right. Something to cheer you up. Somber and emotional yet understanding. They're just taking some time to think. All right, what else we got in this house? I still have bread. What can I do with the bread? Go up here? No, it's here. Oh, hey, how you doing? Past the quiet sobbing, you can hear their stomach mildly grumbling. Ah, you probably want some bread. How about some bread for ya? They accept the bread, never questioning its previous whereabouts. Scrapping the slice down, you can see them calm down a bit more. Yay. 
looked longingly at the unfinished homework on their desk, a myriad of complex arith arithmetic problems. Arithmetic? Arithmetic. I don't know. Whatever. Let's do some homework. 2 plus 8 equals... Yes? <laughs> 12 times 3. I'm sorry, not plus, but times equals no. 9 times 6 equals yes. 7 plus 11 equals yes. We're not very good at math for being a dog, are we? Through sheer, sheer willpower, the homework has flawlessly been completed. I don't know if flawlessly is the word I would use. Here, have some homework. Slightly mystified, they accept the completed homework without question. Yay! Watery eyes tell the story of a person filled with regret. Perhaps a reminder of better times would help. Well, we still have bread. Better times. Oh wait, do you want the ball? Here, I have a ball for you. You want to play catch? There you go. They hold the ball tenderly, memories of warm summer days softening their expression. Tears still flow, but for different reasons. Uh, oh, while you can see grief of your family, you know deep down that they'll be okay. Free from your burden, you can now ascend to your final resting place. Go on. Aww. Alright. I guess I'll go up. Oh, oh. Oh, wow, look at there. <laughs> Alright then. So, um. Oh, there's a game by Picogram. Oh, oh bark. I can bark. Alright, so. Supposed to go somewhere? Oh, I'm slowly going up. You see that? I don't actually control that. I'm floating on my own. I can go back and forth. Oh, I'm also slowly disappearing. Dedicated to my grandma, grandpa, and dog. Aw, how sweet. Well, there you go. <laughs> Thank you for playing. Oh, well, there you go. Goodbye, doggy. A fun little game uh, that you can play at uh, itch.io. I'll put a link to the description. Uh, I'll put a link to the game in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. <laughs> well, so there you go. A game dedicated to everyone who has lost a pet. So there you go. Got any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories? Feel free to leave those down in the comments section below. And if you've lost a pet, tell me about it. Share it with all of us. We want to we hear, you know, kind of what your pet was like and, and how long it lived and, and all that kind of stuff so uh, there you go we uh, we actually had a cat uh when my wife and i first got married and um boy he, she was around for 16 17 years something like that um, and then just got old and ended up with uh, kidney failure and we had to put her down well, we put her down went back in like 2007 so it was rough but uh yeah, it was a female cat that we named Bud Kitty, so there you go. Anyhow, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.